we think of Christmas as being a Christian festival, yet much of what we know and have enjoyed for centuries originates from pagan customs. We have Gregory the Great to thank, who in 597 AD wrote that Christians should not try to destroy pagan customs, yet adapt them to the praise of God. Nowadays we enjoy two days of feasting and fun, yet it was once a much longer celebration, spanning 12 days. As there was a glut of meat to be had and the summer and autumn stocks of beer would be ready to drink, it made for an abundant season of celebration. Throughout the early part of the first millennium, Europeans celebrated Christmas with wild revelry, a boisterous melee of singing, hunting, gambling, feasting and drinking, not so very different from today. The hunting for bargains and betting that you'll spend too much. Gifts being passed from one to another, offenders went unpunished. Christmas was also an important day in Arthurian legend, as at Merlin's request all the leaders of the kingdom gathered to await a sign about the future of the realm. The sign appeared as the magical sword embedded in the anvil which Arthur alone was able to remove on Christmas Day. A sign that he would lead the nation to a glorious future. <laughs>